Welcome back to episode 7 of my goalkeeper career mode. Uh, now we've got Watford in the next game in the Premier League. Uh, now I'm not quite sure where to go with this series really. Um, quite like a bit of feedback off you guys. Um, see if you want us, you know, maybe make a move in January to another Premier League club. Uh, maybe someone that's got Champions League football or at least Europa League, something like that. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments guys if you want me to, to do anything specific. Uh, but let's get into this game against Watford. Hi everybody, Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith welcoming you to this big game today. Why maybe he went just a little bit too early, he knew he was through the lad, but rightly flagged. And the cross comes in now, and shoots, and the goalkeeper got across to it. Well that's gone behind, it'll be a corner. Attacking well here. This could be a chance. The shot's on. And the ball's in. It's a goal. Well, what a way to mark your debut, Martin. Really did take that well. Replay confirming for us here that the goalkeeper did get a touch, but not strong enough to keep the ball out of his net. Well, he is his own harshest critic, this lad. And he'll blame himself for that, I think, having got a touch. Gray, Stephen Defo, promising build-up until that challenge. And that's half-time, signalled by the referee, 1-0 the half-time score. So how about Watford and their next game, Alan? They're playing Bournemouth in their next match. I think they'll find it pretty easy in this one. Etienne Capu moving forward with some... Oh, he's through and shoots! Well, that was an opportunity for him to score again. 20 minutes now remaining. Good position. They've worked this attack for... It could be a chance! He's kept it out. Higalo, building steadily here, keeping possession. It is coming to the business end of this match, isn't it? And they're still looking for that elusive goal. Yeah, the crowd trying to G up their players, trying to get behind them, trying to produce a bit better than we've seen so far. And he's headed it goalwards. He's got to it, and he's claimed the ball too. It's Gray, it's Burnley, pressing on. Younes Kabul. Great place to win it back. This could be a chance. And now the shot! And the goalkeeper got across to it. And that will be a corner. And now we're going to have an alteration. Good play until they got that challenge in. And the added time will amount to three minutes at least. Shots on here. What a fine save. It's gone behind for a corner. And this could yet be a decisive moment so late on. Well, he has cleared the danger. Well, no scraps for the attackers to feed on from the goalkeeper that time. Hung on to the ball well. And that's it. There goes the final whistle. And the final score is 1-0. Burnley are so poor on this. I think it's because they play a 4-4-2 and they haven't got really any wide wingers. So they can't exploit that space that, that the sliders gives them at the full-back area. Um, but I'm not, I'm not too fussed, you know. We're, we're getting we're getting quite a few shots on us on our goal, so it, it's not the end of the world. Uh, but you can see the league table there. Um, I think Burnley will be pretty happy with that. 15th, one two out of six. As you can see, Watford they beat us. That was their first win of the season. Uh, but there we go. But we've got the big one next: Arsenal at home. 
Hopefully they can test me without making me look stupid. Um, but th that'll be it for this episode, and I'll pick up next time against Arsenal. See you later.